Uh, anybody see me now? I don't say, I apologize. Um, I don't know why it's doing this. Okay, there we go. Thank you, Dave Vila, for chiming in. So, so sorry we started kind of late. This is your boy, Terrell T-Rex Lake, down here at Brian Honda. I am in here. It is Sunday, and we have things going on. Sorry about the delay, guys. Um, okay, so, don't know what I'm going to do to even follow that up. I mean... Ryan is an awesome guy. I mean, you know, he, he has an absolute heart of gold. And if you cannot be touched by that, you're not a human being. It, it's, it's just that simple. You're, you're either a robot or you're the devil. That's the only way that that could actually happen. So, anyway, uh, what's up, Gary Pollard, AJ Anderson, J Jeffrey Lee? How is everybody doing today, okay? We're going to uplift today. Um, and, and, and it's really... I tell you what, I don't know Michelle personally. I do know for a fact, though, that she is very influential in the car business. And it is so amazing. You know, here I am in Fayetteville, North Carolina, Paris, Kentucky, all walks of life, and we all come together for just this one. I mean, we've been doing this for 24 hours, okay? I ain't even going to be, I'm not even going to fib. I haven't slept a wink I maybe had a couple hours of sleep, then I had to go to the gym, do my thing, and still, I'm I'm just still my 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 soul, my spirit is still into this, guys. I'm I, I tell you what, and, and the the love that we have shared with this automotive community, because guess what? Let's be honest. I mean, the car salesman has this stereotype that. We don't care that we don't. Hey, how's everybody going? And and you know what? We're here to kill all those stereotypes, man. That's why when it comes to Sean Hayes, Glenn Lundy, all them boys down there at Paris, Kentucky, you know, David Vila. I mean, they they are letting you know that it's not just about the car sale. It, it's about eradicating the stereotype, that stigma that says, guess what? Car people don't care. But I tell you what. $22,000 later, you make that judgment for yourself. Enough about all that, Miss Michelle. Again, don't, don't know you, don't know Chad. Would love to absolutely meet you. But know this, you are loved, okay? We are pulling for you, okay? And we want you to do... Yes, $22,000. Thank you, Mr. Glenlin. It's a fight, okay? And the one thing that has taught us about these fights is that if God didn't think you could handle this fight, then he wouldn't have gave it to you. Today at church, we were talking about, you know, as far as the... Um, how things get in our head when something happens, okay? The first thing that we want to do is we want to go to doubt. We want to leave We want to leave God alone and be like, oh my God, what am I going to do now? But guess what? You always keep him first and he already has it figured out for you, okay? I've got friends, I've got family members, man, that have went through not just breast cancer, but... Um, you know, other cancers. I mean, we're talking, uh, I'll tell you the story about this kid. He's actually in the family. His name is Xander, okay? Young little boy, I mean, just having fun, loving life, and then next thing you know, he's hit with a rare cancer that most kids die from. And guess what? He is happy, he is healthy, and, and you wouldn't know he had cancer if you saw him. Miss Betty, um, a uh, sales manager's wife here, or a fiance. I mean, is just battling just like you are. And every day, you know what? She gets up, she's happy, 
she's alive and she knows what she has to do, but she's still there for the kids. She's still there for um, the sales manager, remain nameless. And, and guess what? You know, we, we pray for her and we're going to do the same for you. Okay. The stereotype, the stigma. Okay. I, I need people to give. Okay. Denzel Washington that was one of the speeches he's always had. One of the greatest actors, motivational speakers. Look him up on YouTube and he talks about give. Give, 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 give till you can't give no more. And that is so true because the more that you give, the more that you receive. And it ain't got to be in the form of money that you receive. It's just the, the, the knowing that you've done something well. You've done something that, I mean, it's that, that no one can can. No one can take it away from you. Okay? We all have stories in this car business. All of us. Um, nobody, most of the people that were in this car business were not born with a silver spoon in their mouth. So we've all had our struggles. You know? So I just encourage people to just give. I mean, not to just Michelle. I mean, that's who we're on here for. But, I mean, give to your communities. Give. Just Just give. Give your time, give your efforts, give your support, love. I mean, the thing is about this whole social media game is that we're so surrounded by the negativity and the, the, the things that are going on, you know, girls fighting on, at the McDonald's and, and things that just really have no, no meaning. Give to something that means. Make it bigger than you. When you make it bigger than you, then guess what? You're giving all the, I mean, like, I'm sorry, guys. I, I mean, I'm not going to script this, but I mean, if we spent more time giving and loving and stop, and instead of all this hatred and all this stuff that's going on, I'm not even going to get political. But, dude, if I see one more thing about Trump, I am going to lose my mind. Because guess what? That don't affect me right now. But what does affect me is when I got a friend that's battling stage 3 breast cancer. And that's serious. It ain't about no... Uh, no, no, no football cleats that they wear in October. I mean, this thing is serious and it has taken a lot of good women a lot you know um i'm not gonna get emotional here but you know losing a loved one i know how that feels okay i i know you know i was um i was devastated I wanted, um, yeah, somebody just texted me about a tank of gas. Uh, we're going we to put that to the side. But, I mean, you, you have to understand something. What if that was you that got that call? Hey, we need to see you. You need to come in. You're happy. You wake up and you're like, man, dude, life, life is good. Life is awesome. And then guess what? You get hit with news that you cannot control. There's nothing you can do. And just like what they said with Xander, it's like, you know, fighting the only, is the only thing you have left. You have nothing else that you can do. You have to fight because that is the last line of defense. Okay. Just so, so many times that people do not do the right thing. They're more worried about themselves. And that's just in society today, just just selfish. You know, I, I I sold like three cars yesterday, delivered one. Thank you, Jesus. But after I got done, I got on here. I was like, Glenn, you want me to get on at 3 o'clock? I'm in. Because I know it's bigger than me. And that's how you should think. You know? It, it's just... You... you you, you you just how would you how would you feel how would you feel if that was you who got that call would you want somebody to support you would you want somebody to give for your cause I am more than confident that you would 
I am more confident that you will. This is just, sorry. God has placed this in my heart to come to you guys today. So just even if you can't give any money, pray for this woman. And pray for people like her that are dealing with things that they cannot control. Because guess what? It's bigger than us. It's bigger than a Glenn Lundy, a Sean Hayes, or whoever. This is just me just coming out and just pouring out to you guys because a dollar makes all the difference in the world. I'm, you know, I'm at work right now. You know, and, and my job is to sell cars. But I, I took the time out to stay in here and get in front of Facebook Live. When normally I get on here and I, I get wild, I get crazy, and you know. And I think about, you know, my wife, my daughter, my life, and how would I, uh, how, how would I react to this? So I can only imagine what, what chats. I, I can't even imagine what chats are going through. I'm sorry. But anyway, we need more given spirits than selfish takers. We really do. And the biggest thing is we need to kill the stigma of the car salesman. Because people think we get in front of you and we're ready to take advantage of you. And that's not the case. We are here to help. Okay. No matter what you think. Because at the end of the day, we do everything that you do. We have families. We have bills. We we have everything. Okay. You know, I've got friends here. You know, Sean Walker. Pastor Sean G. Walker. I don't even know if he's watching this. But he's got diabetes. But he don't complain. You know, he has a he has a heart of gold and he's the closest thing to God I, I know. You know. I I didn't think I was gonna get this emotional, sorry guys. You know. We're we're little guys in the small pond back here. I mean little guy in the small pond here in Fayetteville, North Carolina, man, but we follow this stuff religiously, you know. David Vila, you know, that's my guy, man. I, I, I watch him, I see him, you know, involved with his church. And, you know, it's a, he's a, he's a powerful guy. I love that guy. You know, Sean Hayes gets on there every morning and, you know, he's always, um, you know, talking about killing the stereotype of the car salesman. And that's why I, I gravitate towards these guys, you know, they play, they play Christian music at the, at the Kentucky, Paris, Kentucky location. So, I mean, and, and. And the thing is, Michelle, I, like I said, I don't, I don't know you, but I don't have to know you, okay? Um, and it's just very, it's very disheartening when we just take too much time on the wrong thing instead of doing the right thing. We have to be more of a given spirit, y'all. Life is too short. You don't know what the day, what's going to happen from the day next. You, you just, you don't know. So when you get hit with some devastating news, all you have, I mean, fighting is the only thing that you can do. You got people depending on you. You know, I'm, I'm hearing all these stories, you know, you got... You know, you got sons, you know, you got Chad. I mean, and and that's where your focus should be. But anyway, guys, I um, I just want to take some time out and um, just give my blessing. Um, you guys can go to www.fightwithmichelle.com um, <clears throat> and even if it's a dollar. 
Whatever you can give, give. You know, if you can't give any money, pray. Pray with your families. Pray over this woman. Pray pray over everybody that, that needs prayer. And Lord knows we all need prayer. She's going to fight. And she's going to win. You're absolutely right. Because God has already ordained it so. You know. Man. Uh, I'm sorry I'm late. But I'm glad I was able to get on here. You know. Because when tragedy happens. You know. Again. There's not much more you can do. But anyway. Whatever... If you give in my name, even if you don't, I don't care. Once I get off of here, I'm going to donate $250. That's the right thing to do. Because I know every little bit helps. And, I mean, that's, you know, that's, uh, well, I got eight minutes. <sighs> It's a, uh, it's great to see all, everybody come together, you know, Dawson, I mean, I could go on and on about these guys, man, because at the end of the day, we're still all fighting the same fight, but now it's good for us to use the, I mean, the social media platform to be able to tell our stories. <laughs> And it's, it's, it's pretty awesome. So, a lot of people know me. A lot of people don't know me. But know that I, I follow all of you. Um, and, you know, it's a, it's a very, very tight-knit group. No matter what you sell. No matter where you are. We all come together as one accord, just like the Bible says. For the greater the good. So, anyway, um, I'm still a little, still a little broke up right now, and obviously I gotta get out there and try to, you know, put that, put the happy face on, but just know that I say this all the time, God has blessed me, God has blessed my family, God has blessed all these people that I am seeing here. Okay. So why wouldn't we be a given spirit? Why wouldn't we be on here for Michelle? Why wouldn't we do a 24-hour event taking a half hour of our time? Why wouldn't we do it? You know, um, it's just, just too many evils in the world, man. Way too many. You got to get out of the darkness and get into the light. Because, man, you don't, you don't want to be on the other end. Be like, man, I remember when such and such, and now I know how I feel. Make it, make it bigger than yourself. Make it bigger than yourself. Much, yeah. Um, B, BG Gamble, yeah. I, I like I said, man. I, I'm very honored, and I'm very humbled to be here. <laughs> you know, I just get time out. I might even have somebody wait on me. I don't know, but it don't matter. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. I ain't got nobody waiting on me. But um, how many of y'all work on a Sunday anyway out there? It must be only me, I guess. I, I I don't know. I mean, you know, everywhere else I've ever heard in the car business, everybody else is closed on Sunday. <laughs> My boss might be watching this, so I better stop. No. Um, appreciate you guys. Uh, look forward to helping out any way that I can. Um, again, www dot fight with michelle dot com you know look at her story testimony um and man just 
Just be a given spirit, man. Be a given spirit. I don't have much more to say after that, guys. God bless you. Michelle, we're pulling for you. And it's already ordained for your life to win. We love you. Take care.